brothers and sisters and Mr. and Mrs. Trucker, truck drivers out there. Uh, this is Craig Peters. I'm one of the administrators for Truckers for Jesus and God for Truckers. Glad to have you all. And I hope this lesson will be a blessing to you. Uh, I'm freshly retired, about 12 days into retirement, out of uh, over-the-road trucking. Uh, I began to like it. I had took some took some getting used to. I said, "Am I supposed to get to work?" No, nope, I'm retired. So uh, my wife likes it. Got to, able to spend more time with her, more time in the Word, more time serving my Lord, and getting reconnected to my home church. Really enjoy it. Hello, Jimmy G. Hey, great. Uh, you had a great lesson last night. I really appreciate it. Uh, really blessed me. Thank you, man. Uh, but uh, this is a lesson concerning God's pruning time. It's a lesson I wanted to do for a long time. I got preoccupied doing other things and finally um, got some time to do. Hello, brother. Yes, yes, Jimmy G. And, uh, and I appreciate it, Jimmy. And uh, this is a lesson that, uh, as I said, a uh, long time I wanted, to, I wanted to show this, but it's my fault. I kept putting it off. Doing other things, doing other projects, doing other um, devotionals and everything, and finally getting around to it. But it's not all about me. It's all about Jesus, and we're going to keep it that way, folks. So why don't we go to the Lord in prayer? Heavenly Father, thank you for this is a privilege of being here, being able to share your word on your pruning process, your pruning time with all believers. Either we'll go through pruning uh now or go through it in the future or perhaps we've gone through pruning in the past and we'll get to all the definition of that what a pruning is all about in a in a believer's life father i thank you for all the trucking trucking brothers and sisters thank you for all the platforms out there uh, brothers and sisters in christ truckers for jesus god for truckers uh, thank you for west coast truckers and also thank you for al manning's uh, tr uh, church for truckers uh, thank you. It's been all a blessing to me, even even up and through retirement here, just keeping in contact with these fellas and praying together with them. Thank you, Jesus. And um, may those watching now or those watching later be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks. Uh, one thing I want to make clear, though, before, um, like Mike Belay says, I'm not Robert Pruitt. I'm not uh, Jerry James, uh, any of the uh, top top pastor speakers on here and just a servant of the lord just doing what the lord would have me do uh, under under uh under his watchful eye and so that's that's uh that's why to make it clear uh, and i'm i'm a learner follower disciple of christ and learning as i go learn as i teach so here we go <coughs> folks as a uh, this is this uh, lesson is derived out of John chapter 15, I am teaching out of the um, the King James Version, and it goes to chapter 15, starting with verse 1. If you have a Bible, you can follow along. If not, just listen in, and here we go. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman, or gardener. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth much fruit, much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing, Jesus said. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire. And they are burned. A lot of this, the unsaved, they cannot produce fruit that God approves. They're trying to produce works for their salvation. And people, if there's anyone out there uh, that you don't know the Lord Jesus as your Savior, get right now. You can pray your own, own personal prayer. Uh, right now or later on but don't wait too late because the Bible says we're, we don't know when we're going to pass from this world our lives are like a vapor Could, here today 
gone tomorrow or may be here today and gone five minutes from now or a minute from now. You may choke on a piece of food. You may, um, you may have a drive-by shooting. You may go through a mall and there's a mad shooter going through there. You might die from a disease or something, a car wreck or something. You can't count on tomorrow. A lot of people go out their door in the morning, maybe to work or go fishing, and they never return. They think they're going to return. Hey, we're going to catch a bunch of fish, and uh, we're going to get a mess of them, clean them, set. but they have a boating accident or something happens to them on the way to that lake. They didn't count on that vapor uh, scripture. They didn't count. They think that lives would go on forever. Please get it right with Jesus right now or as soon as you can. After even watching this, please get right with the Lord. Then once you're right with the Lord, once you're a child of God, pray him into your heart, come into your life, and sincerely, then you can go through the pruning process too. You can produce fruit in your life. Well, let's go through what the fruit's all about. Let's, let's go along with the lesson here. As a Christ follower, we're privileged with a faithful gardener, God, our Lord Jesus Christ. The gardener of a vineyard is an essential part of the growing process. In fact, the vine, the branches are existing for the exclusive benefit of our gardener. He has vested interest in seeing them taken care of. He tends his vineyards well to see the greatest amount yielded from the roots. He cares about both quality and quantity. It's not one without the other. It's quality and quantity. He prunes diseased wood that seeks to strangle the fruit production. You guys prune your, if you own your own yard or maybe you're a landscaper, you know what pruning's all about. You prune bushes, prune trees, and, and there's, there's various reasons you do that. Maybe to produce more fruit, more flowers. Uh, maybe you want to shape a bush the way it's intended to be shaped because otherwise branches are going all over the place and you got to get rid of them. So you have a landscaper come in or... Or you got a green thumb, maybe you do it yourself. See, he prunes the diseased wood that seeks to strangle the fruit production. He cuts away the dead wood that breeds disease and insects. He is intentional, really, in his efforts to better his garden. Now, if you look at the past entire passage from John 15, uh, verses 1 to 11, I won't go over that, but I'll let you see it later. You'll see a progression from some fruit to more fruit and then to much fruit. Well, this is the goal of the gardener, as well as our faithful gardener, to see much fruit produced in our lives. Now, you may be asking, Craig, what kind of fruit are you talking about? Am I supposed to produce an apples? Am I oranges, grapes, uh, prunes? What's the fruit you're talking about? Well, for the Christian, the born-again, truly born-again believer, is spiritual fruit. You see... We bear fruit when we share the gospel with others. That's one example. We share, bear the fruit when we're witnessing, when we're sharing the word of God, sharing the gospel with unbelievers. You see truckers up. You might see truckers at the uh, uh, truck stop. Maybe you can hand them a gospel track. Maybe you can just take a gospel track and and uh, leave it behind the bathroom or at, at the pump or or even at night. Like... I gave past videos. God, God would have me. Uh, uh, the Lord directed me to put a tract in the uh, door handles of trucks at night. Sometimes in plastic zipper bags, there you're producing fruit. So you're doing it for the kingdom, not doing it for yourself. Do it for the kingdom. Do what God directs you to do. However, to produce uh, to uh, 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 produce that fruit as He would have you in your life. Now, we go on to say. As we become more like Jesus, the Bible calls us that bearing fruit. There are also certain characteristics that we exhibit that the Bible calls fruit. Here's some examples. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And you can find that in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. You want to go there later? You can. As a Christ follower, we're privileged to have a faithful gardener in our lives that prunes us that we might grow more types of fruit. Sometimes he cuts off these sucker branches. You guys ever heard of sucker branches? Maybe little green uh, 
uh, green leafy things that start coming off the tree trunk and stuff. And I said, man, you don't want them there. Why? He has to cut those offshoots in our life that are robbing us growing deeper in our relationship with him. Sometimes he cuts away things that may be good or better that we might enjoy the best things. Pruning hurts. Yowch, when you guys go, th when we all go through the pruning, not just you guys, me too. Uh-oh. Let me see. Hold on a second, folks. Okay, I had to end that call. That was a sales call, I could tell. Um, anyway, things that may be good or better that we might enjoy the best things. Pruning does hurt, as I mentioned, but it helps move us from where we are to where God wants us. The most commonly things, there are three areas that our faithful gardener, our Lord, has a tendency to visit. So when the pruning starts, it's going to go visit those three areas that are most important to our Lord. That's possessions, processes, and people. People? What? People? Craig, what are you talking about? People? No, not my friend. Well, hold on a second. Let's start with possessions. What's God, what's God need to prune away possessions for? Well, there's times when our st stuff, unquote, unquote, gets in the way of us having a much, having a deeper and more intimate relationship with God. From cars and boats to cell phones, computers and guns, fishing poles, whatever. There are vi there's a many a variety of possessions that can interrupt a deeper relationship with God. The faithful gardener understands that those things will never bring the satisfaction that your soul longs for. So out of love, so out of love, he will sometimes remove those possessions that we might possess more of him. That's painful, but it's necessary. The results are tremendous. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. That number one was possessions. Number two is processes. Many times there are processes in our daily life that can become destructive in God's design of producing fruit through us. The easiest example is, oh no, food and drink. Anybody got that seafood? The seafood, seafood, I want to eat it. Oh boy. But that's producing fruit for us. Um, but this is also true for other processes, not just food and drink. We may have some hobbies. We may have sports, uh, whether it's amateur or professional. We may have some addictions or pornography or TV, etc. Some of the processes that exist in our life are not necessarily bad. Uh, obviously, I'm not speaking about porn and drug addictions. But when those processes interrupt our fellowship with God, he'll come along and he'll do what he must to prune those from us. So be careful and be ready. Be ready for some pruning. It's painful, but the results are amazing out of that, producing more fruit. Now, we know that number one was possessions. Number two is processes. Number three is people. That's what I was getting to. People. Pruning people out of your life. What for? Well, let's go on with it. People. This particular area of pruning is particularly challenging in most circumstances. For those that have experienced a little more in life, this particular field will resonate more fully. There are times that God prunes us from certain influencers that have existed in our life. Now, I'm not merely talking about someone passing away or from this life to the next. While that may be some of the case, more often than not, there are times when our relationships, our friendships and stuff um, such as that, Keep us from producing the fruit that God wants to see out of us. There are people that we can be around that we begin to idolize or lift up to follow or follow their influence to the point that they are distracting us from where we should be placing our trust in him. While the faithful gardener, our Lord, shears hurt, the cutting shears, they will hurt in the midst of the pruning. We can rest in reality, guys, that he's seeking our best in the midst of the pain, even when we don't realize it. So the pruning can be painful of what I say, possessions, processes, and people. There are going to be people in your life that he's going to prune away. 
He doesn't want you to chase back after. Once those people are removed out of your life, and I'm not talking about those that have passed away, and that could be, but I'm talking about people right now that he's pruning away from you, slowly pruning you away because he wants you to mature. He wants you to, he wants you to grow, and he wants you to produce more fruit and much fruit. Now, there's a time and season for pruning. You'll have a, a season of more fruit, just going out there producing more fruit. And he might have some more pruning for you to do. He may take a Sunday. He may take a ministry away from you. Not on purpose. But he might be gradually pruning you from that ministry. And he wants you to go to a ministry that produces more fruit. Much fruit. So get ready for that. Don't feel bad that something not working out or you feel strange or something. You may be going through the pruning process. That's all a part of it. But later on, it yields some fantastic results. Well, folks, I'm going to I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, just put them in the comments section uh, below. And I appreciate all of you. Love all of you. Um, I have this prayer. I want to pray real quick. Heavenly Father, help us, for we're often lukewarm and chilled. Unbelief mars our confidence, and sin makes us forget you. Let the weeds that grow in our souls be cut at their roots. Grant us to know that we truly live only when we live to you. All else is trivial. Your presence alone can make us holy, devout, strong, and happy. Lord, help us through any pruning process that is going through now or in the future. Help us learn from that. Help us not resist it. Help us uh, uh, with all resilience to go through it, the courage and the wherewithal to go through it. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Well, folks, I hope this uh, lesson was a blessing to you. I see it's just Jimmy G on here, but but uh, that's okay. Um, I didn't schedule a time for the fact this was unscheduled because I didn't know when I was going to do this. But uh, my my uh, my dear wife and my daughter are out Christmas shopping. Yes, they are Christmas shopping, so they're going to be gone for a while. So I figured, and I figured this is a good time to do this. Well, you all, it's been fun. I hope you're enjoying this fall weather. Um, this hurricane is done past. I hope I hope you all. Uh, uh, up up toward the northern states. We're talking about the Carolinas, Virginia, uh, wherever you're living up up that way. Hope you uh, guys are all right and got some much needed rain. I understand we were having drought condition. We needed the rain down here, and I'm glad we did. So we're having a beautiful day today. Uh, later on, it's going to get a little more chillier down here, as it, of course, up up north as it is. And uh, I just want all of you to know that I'm praying for you. Uh, thinking about you, even though I'm retired, I'm out of trucking, but uh, still like to keep keep in touch with uh, those that uh, that uh, were a real blessing. And uh, uh, Preacher Paul, Jimmy, uh, Timothy, John, uh, we think of uh, uh, Jerry James, Robert Pruitt. Uh, there's other fellas, um, Al Manning, David Oney, many guys. So I just thank you. Hello, Miss Anna Shy. I appreciate you coming. Just about ready to get off, Miss Anna. So uh, thank you for coming on. If you want to watch the rest of this, it uh, it it is uh, there will be a replay on it. And God bless y'all. And we'll we'll be here another time, Lord willing. If not, see you in glory. Bye bye.